welcome to A Cup of Conversation. My name is Jan Ghazi. I'm your host this week, once again, at the studios of BRTK in Lefkosha. Now, for the past few weeks, we've had two guests behind the scenes, and they are students from the nearest university in Lefkosha, studying journalism, radio and television in the Department of Communications. And Tabiwat and Adrian have been watching very closely radio and TV work at the Department of Foreign Languages at BRTK. And this time, I've turned the tables on them. Instead of being behind the camera or mic, I've got them in front of the studio cameras now, and I'll be interviewing them. And in fact, they'll be interviewing me because they want to be journalists, so they have to learn the trade. So why not learn from us here at BRTK? So I'm very honored to have two wonderful, hardworking students from Newish University, Tabiwad and Adrian. First of all, guys, welcome to the program. Thank you very Thank much, you. Now, let's start with you. Tapiwat and uh, it's good to have you here in front of the camera I know you've been watching very closely behind the scenes yes. and uh, is this the first time you have, you've ever been interviewed on television it's my first time your first time, yeah, first time. okay so good luck I know that Adrian's been interviewed by my colleague yes. uh, Engin for Vox <laughs> yeah, Pop sure. so he's now used to camera but for you it's the first time uh, Tapiwat you are from Zimbabwe yes 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 yeah. and you are studying here in all Cyprus mm -hmm. what year are you in it's my third year, right? Third year? Yeah, third year, first in semester. In Department of? Journalism. Journalism? Yes. Now, why North Cyprus? How did you come to study North Cyprus? Did you have friends who studied here before, family people, or did you just find it on the internet? How did you come to study at Nivish University in North Cyprus? Okay, it's like I uh, have my cousin brother. Yeah, he's in his fourth year right now. Uh -huh. So he's the one who said, you should come along, bro. And then I said, okay. And I told my parents, then here I am today. Now. And here you are? My cousin brother, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why journalism? Did you always want to study media, journalism? I mean, why that department in particular? Okay, it's like, as for me, I just like, like, as I was growing up, I enjoyed radio very much, listening to radio, listening, especially on Saturdays, listening. And in my country, they have these chat shows yeah. whereby there is top 20, top 40. So I, I just like the DJs, like listen, just listening to the voice of a DJ yeah. on radio. It was just fantastic. And then I said, ah, I should try this. I should do this. I should. I just want to be like exposed. Like when you're in media, you are exposed. I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of a quiet person. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like, that's why I chose, I chose this, so, so that I get exposed. Yeah, and I want to kill this quietness in me. I want to get it out. It, yeah, so <laughs> that I can like speak more, I can, like that. Yes, you are a very quiet guy, but you are doing all the work given to you, and you are very confident now. I know that you've been given some assignments to do. You have been reading news on the radio, yeah, yeah. and so it, it's good, and you're enjoying it, yes? Very much, very much. I'm Excellent. Really doing what I'm doing right now. Well done. Mm -hmm. We'll come back to you again in a minute, uh, Tepiwat, but first of all, welcome once again to Adrian. How are you, Adrian, today? I'm great, and yourself? Fine, thank you very much. Now, Adrian, you are also from Zimbabwe, yes? Yes, yes. And you are in the same department as Tepiwat? <laughs> yeah. What year, are you in the same year as well, third year? No, we're in the same year. We actually came together. Came together? Yeah. Uh, again, how did you come to f find out about North Cyprus and studying it near East? I mean, did you have links to Cyprus? Um, I actually have a couple of friends who are already studying here, so, uh -huh. you know, they had been encouraging me. But besides that, I just always wanted to come to Cyprus, you know. I'd heard stories about it. Yeah. Yeah, so I really wanted to, you know, just come and be here. Excellent. Yeah. And why journalism? I mean, uh, to me, what said that he wanted to, you know, express himself. He's a quiet guy and he enjoyed listening to radio and television. What about you? How did you get involved with journalism and well, media? As for me, I'm a person who's very inquisitive and I love chasing adventure. So just, well, just for, that, for those facts, you know, I decided, like, why not fetch into journalism? And since my English is very good, I'm fluent, and I thought, like, you know, if I just get into this media industry, it would suit me better. Yeah. Yeah. You have a very good personality, actually. You're very lively yeah, as well. You, you. Not that you haven't got a good personality. You are very good as well, but very different. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you are more livelier. To be what is a bit uh, quieter. But again, yeah. you know, media is very interesting, very changing. Uh, yeah. 
department, I think. Yes. Now you are learning things every day, radio, television, journalism, interviews, presenting programs, in front of the camera, behind the camera. Yes. It's very interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. So you are, good, you are happy to be here? I'm over the moon. <laughs> Words yeah. can't even express how I feel. Well, excellent. I'm so glad. And we're happy to have you here as well. Yeah. You are very well uh, presentable, very uh, well-managed people. And it's good to have you here yeah. at BRTK. It's a pleasure to be with you guys. Oh, Thank you, John. The pleasure is all ours. You're more than welcome. Now, Tabiwa, let's come back to you again. So, you like listening to, to DJs on the radio. Mm -hmm. Are you more interested in radio or television? Or do you want to be a journalist? What's your ambition in the future? Uh, broadcast journalism, yeah. It's yeah. my ambition. I want to, something to do with radio or television. In, I'm in between radio or television. Both of you, you like them both? Yeah, I'm not into press, press journalism, no. You don't want to write for a paper or you don't want to be a, um, a writing journalist? You'd rather be like we are now, chatting, yeah, radio, television, yeah, yeah? Like that, either behind the scene but if it, it, it has to be broadcast journalism. In broadcasting. Uh -huh. So you wouldn't mind being a director or you wouldn't mind being, you know, behind the scenes, like you said, as well. Yes, but yeah. you want to be... be it maybe a camera person. Yeah. I, yeah, I've, I've noticed that I, I like taking pictures, I like taking photographs, so something like that, photojournalism. Photojournalism. Yeah, like that. Mm, That'd be very interesting, very good. Yes, sure. So when you are at university, tell us a bit about your university life. Uh, you are in your third year, you have one more year, but um, do you do a lot of theory lessons? Do you have practical lessons? I mean, what have you learned so far? Uh, what have you enjoyed the most? I mean, do you, do you ever do interviews with your friends at university or do you listen to the lecturer and take notes? Mm -hmm. um, what's it like? Do you do, or is it both? Is it every Thing. We actually do both, mm -hmm. uh -huh. both theory and practical. Uh -huh. For this semester, as for me, most of my courses are theoretical. theoretical. Mm -hmm. But last semester, yes, I had to go out, I had to interview people, I had to do so many projects which has to do with like inter interviews, and, mm -hmm. yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. And also, you are here doing uh, ex work experience here yes. at BRT, yes. where you have to, you know, learn what's going on in the industry itself. Mm -hmm. So we're very happy that you're learning from us here at BRTK. Adrian, what about for you? I mean, uh, you know, obviously you're in the same department, doing the same things. Yeah. Are, are you enjoying both the theory and the practical, or do you enjoy being out there doing, you know, work like Tapiwa does, like maybe interviewing people or what are you interested in the most? Well, as for me, I must say that I'm a, I want to be a jack of all trades, you know, I, I want to learn as much as possible and mm -hmm. I want to do as much as I can. But I, I must say that I actually do give more preference to being out there in the field. Yeah. Yes, yeah, like I said before, I enjoy chasing adventures, so I just want to be where the action is. Yeah. Basically. So yeah. I think I would enjoy being outside, out there more, looking, gathering information. Yeah. I know that you've been following my colleague Engin, yeah. and he's been he films outside interviews or goes to certain events. Yes. Um, do you like to be in front of the camera, or would you like to be outside behind the camera? Or I mean, what I mean, uh, Tabiwa likes photojournalism. Maybe yes. he likes being taking photographs and maybe being behind the camera, being out there. Do you prefer? Do you want to be a presenter, or do you want to be behind the camera, being a director? What's your ambition? I take the forefront. I'll go for the forefront. Yeah. I would want to be a reporter, you know, be a presenter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. Definitely. You're going to be running out there chasing yeah. the news. Yes, exactly. I want, to, I, want, I want the scoop. I want the exclusive story. <laughs> yes, exactly. You'll be out there yeah. running out yeah. there. That's what I want to be about. That's interesting. That's good to, to, to see, you know, different sides of your personalities. And, you know, journalism or media studies is very good for that because you can yeah. find something that interests you. And there's lots to do. Yeah, sure. You know, lots to learn. Sure. So you, you don't mind being out there, yes, they say to you, here's the camera, here's the microphone, go and get a story. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be delighted. And I'll <laughs> Have you done things like that at university? Have they given you projects where you've been out in the field? or? Actually, yes, we did have um, about a lot of projects where we had to go out there interview, but it wasn't on the camera, but it was, you know, face-to-face -face interviews uh -huh. with, um, you know, people from all walks of life. Yeah. Yes, and I actually had the privilege to have an interview with um, this lady, Sevgu Uluda. Yes. Yeah. I, I know Sevgu Hanem, yes. Yes, I, I had the privilege, you know, to actually interview her for my school project. 
She's wow, she's very interesting. She's, she's written books. She's a journalist herself. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Say good Uluda. Yes. Big hello to her from here. <laughs> yeah. So you, uh, it's very interesting to find out what you're doing. I mean, because when you're at university, uh, a lot of the stuff can be lectures, yeah. and but you all, in this industry, you need to learn practical things as well exactly. to be actually doing things. So uh, it's good that you know you are given the opportunity to interview. And I, I mean, even using your mobile phone and recording, yes, it's very simple, isn't it? Now, very, very. Simple. Have you ever done that with your friends, giving them your phone and saying, "Right, record me now." And, you know, <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> really, <laughs> I love the camera. It's yeah. like an addiction. And, and maybe you know. Um, we're always online on Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat yes. and you can do live feeds. I mean, are you, are you finding yourself taking photographs with your camera on your mobile and sharing and, you know, is it interactive for you like that to be what are you, or do you have your own professional camera? Where do you, what do you use? What do you use most of the time when you're taking photographs? It's like, uh, as for me, I, I usually use my camera, my yeah. professional camera. Professional uh -huh. camera. I just take with my friends. Oh, I like the architect, Cypress architect. I like take everything. I just take everything. Every, I snack yeah. everything. Yeah. Like Excellent. Mm -hmm. And then it's like when I get home, is I'll be like viewing those pictures I was taking. Like uh, two days ago, I went to Cypress International University and I was just taking pictures of people walking in the pathways. And then it's like some of them would like hide away from the camera and then some of them would wave some of them would smile and then as i was like watching when i get home as i was like going through those photos i was yeah. taking it was just i don't know how to explain how i i found joy inside of me because like i saw that i thought i was all all alone but i wasn't alone because like we were communicating. You were communicating, uh, yes. We were communicating with those people because like when i was like watching those people some would just some will just wave at you me. You get interactions. Yes, yeah. some will just smile at me, which is fun and say, wow, I had a great day. I had a good day. So it's like, I like, I like it very much. So I see where you are, you know, fascinated by being behind the camera and capturing the people. Yeah, you want to interact yeah. with the people or, or maybe, you know, the animals or the, the landscape that you take, you know, you, you, you bond with the, with the subject matter. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you also take um, photo les photo photography lessons, yes, in the school? Mm -hmm. yes, yes. You have uh, lessons like that, classes mm -hmm. in photojournalism and photography? Yes, yes, I'm having. Very yeah, good. I'm also doing photography. Ah, excellent, excellent. Okay, now, I've interviewed you a little bit, and we're going to con continue the interview now with, I've given you an assignment. I've asked you to ask me some questions now, because let's say you want to be a journalist, and you want to be, uh, you know, interviewing people. You've seen me behind the scenes a few weeks interviewing people now, so I'm sure you've learned a few of the, uh, you know, the things that you have to uh, learn. And uh, my colleague, Denise Phillips, yes. uh, she does the main event. You've seen her interviewing for the radio, so maybe you've got an idea about how interviews work and how they are constructed so who wants to start that you've got some questions you're gonna be asking me one each yeah so sure. who wants to start with the questions who's, who's going to start asking me a few questions I'll give Toby okay to be what I, I am your interviewee now you yeah. are meeting me mm. and you're interviewing me what's your mm. first question to me now to be all right this is the moment I've been waiting for okay uh-huh uh, I would start by asking about John who is John who is John? Where is he from? Uh huh. Okay, then, like I asked you at the beginning of the interview, mm -hmm. well, to keep it short, because I can talk for hours and hours and hours. Yeah. So, um, basically, I'm a Turkish Cypriot. I was born in London in 1971 mm -hmm. and I grew up in England spent all my education time there when I graduated from university in 1994 mm -hmm. my family and I decided to come back that's my mother my father my sister her husband and her children and we all came back to, to North Cyprus back in 94 mm -hmm. and then I started working here at Bayrak and I've been here ever since. So I've been on the island now for 23 years, and I've been at Bailak for yeah. nearly 23 years as well. Mm. So that's me. And um, I actually graduated in biology. Okay. So that's my, my major right. at University in UK. But I'm now presenting on radio 
and television here at Bidac. So that is John. That That's is me. Good. That is good. Okay, Adrian, your question. Yeah, I wanted to ask. Um, you are you are a biologist, you know, as your first uh, occupation. What made you venture from being a biologist to get into media? Tell That's me a very it. good question, yeah. and people always ask me that. You know, <laughs> why? How did this happen? Yeah. When I came to Cyprus, obviously, uh, 23 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know what to do. I had a biology degree, but I wasn't a teacher. I didn't have any work experience in any hospitals or laboratories or anything like that. So when I came and I had um, a break here, first of all, because I came in the summer of 94 after graduating, I thought, what should I do? I don't know what to do. So basically, <laughs> excuse me, I was invited to come. I had a friend who worked here and he said, John, there's a radio station that presents in English. They're looking for DJs. And so I came just to try out, they liked me, and I liked the job, and I've been here ever since. So basically it was just a chance meeting with somebody who worked here, okay. and that's how I got into journalism. But what I did do was, after working here for a couple of years, I did my master's in journalism at another university here, and so I now have a master's in journalism. So I have a, two degrees, one in biology and one in journalism, but I've been a journalist ever since. Mm. That's wonderful. Okay, thank you very much. Good question. You say you've been here for 23 years, yes. right? Yes. Okay, so it's like you have gained so much experience. Yes. Uh -huh. So I've noticed, like, when you're asking questions, when you're interviewing people, you don't use any paper, you don't have any note whereby you'll be, like, yeah. reading for questions. You just ask, like, is it it's coming out from your head randomly? Yeah. Is there a secret or... It's a good question, very good question, uh, mm -hmm. Tapiwad. And the reason why I don't have notes. Now, beforehand, if you do your research about your guests, then normally you make mental notes anyway. You know roughly what you want to ask them before you interview them. Or before you, as you've seen when I prepare with my guests, we normally, uh, I say to them, I'm going to ask you this, 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 this. And they know, and I ask them, you know, what should I ask you? Is there things that I should ask you, things that I shouldn't ask you? So mentally, I've prepared myself before the guest is in front of me like I am now with you. Mm -hmm. um, also, because of so many years of doing this, you know the things to ask, and generally, interviews flow in a certain way. So you, you ask about the background of the person, mm -hmm. then you come to about the subject, and then about future, what they're gonna be doing in the future, and then, at the end, contacts. So normally, when I have my interviews, it's about maybe the person or an event. So it works in that order, and at the end, we do a roundup where you know we say, well, you know, if they want to find out more, you give contact details. It's normally about Facebook pages or um, telephone numbers, email addresses, things like that. So it comes from experience. When you start this, you normally have a few notes in front of you, yeah, yeah. but after that. You don't need the notes, wow. but you always must, when you have an interviewee, chat with them beforehand mm. to find out what to talk about, what not to talk about. So you spend about half an hour, or maybe you, if you're contacting them via email or Facebook, you chat there so you know beforehand. It looks like I don't have preparation, but really I've done preparation before they've come to the studio. Mm. So, uh, but also years of experience. Mm. Once you've done it, so many times, so for so many years, it's like that. Okay. And for you, it'll be the same as well. Okay. okay? It's going to come easy. You're doing very well at well at the moment. You have your notes here, but you're not looking because you know what you're going to ask. And that's how it happens. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay, Adrian, you next. Okay, I wanted to ask, besides you being a TV presenter here at BRTK, do you, what, are, what are the duties do you perform? Okay, well, when I started, it was just radio. Yeah. TV... At uh, Bailak uh, TV, basically, um, the English language department has been around f for over 60, uh, since the 1960s. As you know, BRTK is a very important station, mm -hmm. it's a government station here. It was the voice of the, the freedom fighters during the troubles of 63. And it was Bayrak, Bayrak, Bayrak. It was a Turkish okay. channel. Then they had the English channel. When I um, started work here, there was just the radio. And it was Radio 2, Radio Bayrak. In 97, it became Bayrak International Radio. Then, again in 97, they had the BRT2 second TV channel, which we are on now. Yeah. And when it first opened, it was English channel. So I was working for the both television and radio, okay. making programs there, making documentaries. 
we had the news, I didn't read the news, the news yeah. department read the news. But I've been doing, over the years, I've been making programs for television and radio, I've been preparing programs for other people as well. Like we have other uh, guests on the radio who come and I edit their programs for them. Yeah, sure. So we, we do lots of work. It's not just presenting, we do uh, preparing of work, of radio and TV programs, mm. behind the scenes, editing, uh, a lot of work. You've seen editing of television yes, programs, yeah, sure. you've seen editing of radio programs, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. So I do everything. We do a lot of, ev most of us here, we do a lot of work. Yeah. Um, not just our own programs, but other people, helping other people as well. Yes. Behind the scenes, editing work. So it's a lot of work. It's a lot. Oh, that's great. Okay, two people, back to you again. Mm -hmm. Jan, what is it like to be a radio TV presenter? What is it like, actually? Uh -huh. What is it like? Uh -huh. What is it like? It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. and I'm sure you feel that excitement as well here. Mm -hmm. um, because every day you get to meet new people. In my position, like now with you, I have you guys here. Mm -hmm. Next week, I've got other people, a different subject. Next week, another group of people or one person. It could be at an event, it could be a person just talking about himself or herself. It's very exciting to be here. Radio as well, it's very different because radio, you are sitting behind the mic, you are your own boss, you play the music that you like to listen to, you are able to control what you want to do, that's freedom, it's very exciting, again and again, I'm sure if you ask Denise, she'll say that interviewing people is exciting for the radio. Every day is a different day, Tabiwa and Adrian, every day is a new day, you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know who you yes. might meet today, oh. you don't know anything could happen, somebody might call you and say, John, go here and do this interview, or they might say, come and this guy sends you a message, I would like to come and be a guest, and so you meet new people, you do new things, you discover new topics, new interesting things going on in this country. There's lots going on in North Cyprus. Yes. And we, as Brighton National Radio and BRT2 TV, we want to help promote what's going on here in English to all the English-speaking people, be it you, you, you guys, you know, from uh, Africa. Yeah. It could be people from England, Turkey Cypriots, anyone from any country, any nationality, they're all welcome here and we are meeting new friends every day. So it's very exciting to be here yeah. on the radio and TV. I'm sure you feel that as well. Like you've got the excitement for taking photographs, mm -hmm. I get the excitement of being here, being presenters. Yeah. Adrian, um, your next question. Do you sometimes feel work pressure? Pressure? Yeah. Always pressure, but that's pressure. good pressure. Okay, so and how do you deal with this pressure? How do you succumb to it? Okay. Um, at the beginning, you feel that you can't keep up with the pressure because you know you're new. Oh my God, how do I do this? But you know you have deadlines. Yeah. You know you have to get prepared for your programs and have them ready for a certain date. And that pressure is good pressure. It's adrenaline. It makes you work hard. It makes you do your research. Uh, sometimes things might not go right. Yes. And you know, but you uh, you work across that. You know, maybe your your guest might say, I can't turn up. But you try and you know cover that with finding replacements. You know you have a backup guest who you know, you know you might call the last minute and say, "Can you come in?" And they normally say yes. Yeah. Sometimes no. But the pressure is good because it's good uh, adrenaline. When you are in front of the camera and when you are in front of the microphone on the radio, you have to have a bit of excitement. If you are not excited or you, if you don't feel the pressure, yeah. then it's not good. You feel very you know bored, yeah. boring. And if you are bored or you feel that you are not interesting enough for your listeners then normally, or your viewers, then normally you, you are boring them as well. So you need that excitement. Now, are you excited now? Yes, I'm yes. very excited. I'm excited to, for you guys as well. Yeah. And that excitement hopefully carries on to our viewers <laughs> yeah, and they sure. feel the good, you know, the good vibes. Uh -huh. The pressure is always good. It's always good pressure. Yeah. Nice pressure. Sure. But you always have that pressure there. These are deadlines. You know, as a journalist, if you want to be a journalist and you have to interview somebody, you have to phone them, get the interview set up. Yes. You have to get the camera ready. You have to get your cameraman. You have to get your driver with you. And then you have to come back, edit the footage that you have. Yeah. It's a lot of pressure, but it's good pressure. Yeah. Tabiwa, back to you yes, again. Yes, yes, John. 
I'm sorry, I should have asked you this question like earlier on. Yeah. But since we are having a cup of conversation, today is kind of it's more than just a cup of conversation. Maybe we can say two cups of conversation. Yes, definitely. Because the interviewer is being interviewed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> two cups of conversation, yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, you know, um, this, this show is all about chatting with people mm -hmm. and it's, it's a, it's a two-way conversation, you know, mm -hmm. it's a dialogue. Mm -hmm. It's not just me, although I do talk a lot sometimes, yeah. but it's nice to find out about people, about you guys, because, you know, it's very important to, to show to the world, mm -hmm. because we are online as well, yeah. and we also have this program on YouTube, so mm -hmm. anyone can watch anytime. We want to show the world that North Cyprus is a friendly, happy country, with lots of people coming here, enjoying life here, lots of things going on, good things. As you've seen, you know, we had lots of charity events, yes? Yes, yes, yes I've known. And lots of people doing good work for other people. Mm -hmm. We have uh, interesting people with interesting lives. Yeah. Um, just good characters yeah. who we want to share with the public. So um, here's a conversation. But yes, today, today we have two conversations, <laughs> two cups. We are drinking here. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, cheers, cheers for our cups of conversation. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. But yes, um, uh -huh. the, the program is here for everyone, for the whole community for people like you, for good guys like you who yeah. are learning, hopefully you will take over in the future <laughs> when, when you go back to your country, yes, sure. when you go back to Zimbabwe. Yeah. Do you hope to, um, you know, maybe work in the media in your country? Yes, most definitely. That's in Zimbabwe, yeah, yes? Yeah, definitely. And for you as well, Yeah, that, that, that's actually my first protocol. Who would want to work in Zimbabwe? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's my target. That's where I want to be. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes, uh, I haven't asked my question yet. Okay, ask yeah, your question. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, I'm about to go a bit deeper. Uh, yes. It's like I know even the viewers who want to know more about you. So it's like I'm going to ask, like, what does John do during, like, let's say uh, it's your off day, you are not working, We're not working. at home, yeah, what do you do, where do you go? Well, I know a lot of people want to also know. Really? Uh, okay, yeah. that's a nice question, very good <laughs> question, a personal question. <laughs> um, because I work during the week, I have the weekend off normally, uh, and I have, um, I'm, I'm married, and I've got an eight-year-old son, mm -hmm. so normally we spend a good time together, family time, but I like to explore my country. I love North Cyprus. Mm -hmm. I love going out, enjoying the beauty of the island. I don't know whether you guys have time to, to go out and enjoy yeah, yourselves. We do, we do. You're studying too hard, I know, but you know, <laughs> when I have free time, I go, I enjoy going to the mountains, to the sea. I live in Kyrenia, so I'm, yeah. I'm by the, the, you know, the, the sea. I like meeting with friends and going out, maybe going to concerts in the evenings, yeah. maybe going to the cinema with my family, yeah. uh, going out for meals, discovering new places. So I'm interested in things like that. I like, li like listening to music, because obviously I'm on the radio as well, so I listen to what the latest sounds are like. I like to uh, read books, everything. I do, you know, I have a an active life in my free time yeah. and sometimes when I'm invited to uh, I like to also be with the community if I have the chance to be invited somewhere to an event if I can go yeah. I will go to that event as well yeah. so to support the community here so yeah I'm everywhere I, I'm always out and about but I uh, I enjoy being out there discovering Cyprus I think our country is beautiful mm. and there's so much to learn. Even though I've been here for 23 years, I still find new things about Cyprus that I discover every day, every week. Interesting. And I think everyone should discover that as well. Yes, sure. Yeah. Okay. Good question, good question. Yeah, um, this is my last question. You know, has any of your interviews ever gone wrong while you're live on air? Um, sometimes we have technical faults, yes. Um, and then we start again, you know, we, because this is a recorded program, um, yeah. we, we can start and stop, we can edit. I had done live TV interviews, yeah. and luckily, fingers crossed, they have never gone wrong. <laughs> oh, you know, that's wonderful. Sometimes, that's I tell you what has happened, uh, yeah. Adrian, like, you know, you guys are very chatty, very, uh, you know, lively, but sometimes you interview somebody and you ask them a question and they say, yes, no, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they finish and so you can't you know they're not very good to be interviewed mm -hmm. you know they're nervous yeah. like you think they're going to be really chatty yeah. and then they just say yes 
No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then the interview finishes in like five, ten minutes. Oh, yeah. That's terrible. Okay. You know, and maybe, you know, it's my fault for not making them relaxed enough. I don't know. But sometimes people get nervous in front of the camera. They get shy. Okay. But uh, I've never had a big, big problem. All right. Uh, normally, if you do, you just carry on and, you know, you, you, you carry on as normal and you act normal. If it's live, there's nothing you can do. You have to just continue. Okay. But with recording, with editing, yes, you can edit things together and make it a good program. So yeah. things normally go okay at the end of the day. But that's another good question. It can, it can happen. Sometimes it's, uh, you're only as good as your interviewee. All right. you know, so you must make sure that you have a good subject, a good person to interview. That's yeah. very important when you are interviewing somebody. You must know that they are willing to speak to you. Okay. That's a good thing to know. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. And this becomes my last question as okay. well. Uh -huh. I would want to know, John, I want to ask like, what advice can you give to a person like me who is about in, to venture into journalism, yeah. what advice can you give to, to Adrian or to And to you. Mm -hmm. I give you this advice, guys. Um, this is for everyone out there who is studying this uh, particular branch, this subject, yes. because it's very difficult. It's not a nine to five job. Uh -huh. You know, you, especially in journalism, you know, yeah. anything can happen anytime. You could be called out, especially if you want to be a journalist like you, yeah. you know, maybe it's going to be evening or weekend yeah, sure. or morning, night. It doesn't matter. You know, you have to be ready 24-7, especially you as a photographer. You have your camera everywhere with you. Wherever you are, all of a sudden something might happen and you might want to take a photograph. Mm -hmm. You don't want to miss that opportunity. Mm -hmm. So you must love your job. You must be prepared yeah. to sacrifice some of your own time, your personal time, to be with this job. Because this is not a nine to five job where at the end of the day you leave your office and you go home. Because anything could happen outside normal hours. Mm. In presenting, if you are not interested in your job, that will show. Mm. You must love journalism, you must love radio television. If you are a radio presenter, you must love radio. If you are a TV presenter, you must love your job. Because if you don't, then you will not be happy. And if you're not happy, then you will not present a very good program. Because the viewers, the listeners, they will know that you are not happy. Yeah. Whatever. And you need to do a little bit of acting. Because you might not be happy now. You might be yeah. really upset. Oh, I got stressed with my exams. Yeah. Or I had a fight with my friend. Yeah. But here I am interviewing you. And you have to go, hi, John. Yes, I'm happy, John. You know? You have <laughs> yeah, to act. Sure, I have sure. to act. Okay. I'm interviewing you now, but I might be upset yeah, sure. about something. Yeah, sure. But you know, you have to go, action. And then it's like, <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the program. Yeah, life so, action. you know, you, you have to love your job. You have to be smiling like you guys are now. Yeah. You are, I can see the energy from you. And this is true. This is not a job where uh, I can do it because it's a job. No, no, no. You have to love your job. Yeah. And that's why I've been doing this job for 23 years because I love my job. If I didn't love this job, I would have left many years ago. Okay. But I love meeting guys like you. I love chatting, as you can tell, talk too much. Yeah. Yes. Um, but you know, you have to love your job. That's my advice. Love the subject you are studying, and then you will be successful. Okay. Thank you. That's my advice for you guys. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. You prepared very good questions. I'm very impressed with you guys. Fantastic. You are very good yeah. at what you're doing. And I have to say that, you know, I think you are going to be very successful. I want to come now, before we say goodbye to each other, I want to ask a few more questions to you guys. Yeah, sure. Now, um, are you happy in North Cyprus? Are you happy that you chose North Cyprus as a place to study media? Are you, are you happy here in North Cyprus at the moment? I personally don't have any problems that yeah. yeah. I actually feel like I'm at home. Yeah. Yeah, there is just peace of mind here. I, yeah. It's like yeah. deep down inside of me, I have peace of mind. I'm not afraid of anything. I can do anything. I can go anywhere at any time. It's yeah. not a country that you like during the night time you have to like hurry or you have to stay indoors because it's like you're yeah. afraid to go out, afraid of uh, being afraid from robbers or robbers or something. No, it's just a peaceful country. It's a lovely country. I like everything. I like even the people, the Cyprus people. Yeah. They're just friendly people. They're just good people. Yeah.
I see a lot of um, you know people from Zimbabwe, Nigeria, you know from Africa coming here, and it's, it's such a good feeling because you are such a, a lovely community of people you know yeah. you are warm i feel that we are similar you know yeah. cyprus is similar to to uh, to africa maybe or to yeah. some countries in africa yeah, especially zimbabweans and nigerians yeah. 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 you know because you are very warm people very friendly uh, so i feel that there's a good bond between us yeah. um let's say somebody is watching this interview now from zimbabwe would you say to them come and study in North Cyprus. If they were thinking of coming, would you say, yes, come, and um, because North Cyprus is a good place to study? Definitely. Would you, yeah? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Come, come in numbers. Come in numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. What about you, Adrian? I mean, are you happy that you have chosen North Cyprus? Yes, I am. I am extremely happy, and mainly for the fact that the educational facility is exactly what I expected. I just wanted to be somewhere where there are resources, and I wanted to be somewhere where I'm free, you know, where I have freedom and where there's lots of peace. And like, you know, with Northern Cyprus, like, like, like the Cypriots in particular, they're very warm-hearted, kind, and you know, yeah. generous people. I love being in such an environment. I guess I am very happy. Yeah, it's good. And, you're, and, and you are living near university. Uh, your campus is a very big campus, very good yes, campus. It is, yeah. One of the best campuses on the island, I think, yeah, uh, near sure. this university. So uh, you, you are happy with the education there. The, the, uh, the, the standard of education is pretty good as well, I think, at the university. Yes, it is. Very good it lecturers, is. very yeah, good, it is very good. Uh, opportunities for you students there. Yeah. What do you, you have one more year after this year. Exactly. What do you hope to do when you graduate? Do you want to do masters or will you leave for another country? or do you want to go back to Zimbabwe and start your career? What do you want to do in the future? Well, as for me, I would want to go back to Zimbabwe and get my career rolling. Maybe I work for a few years, then I go for my, I come back here in Cyprus actually and do my master's really? or doctorate. Then ah. I go back again because, you know, I just want to be home. I feel like, you know, I have a destiny to fulfill there. Fantastic. So you wouldn't mind coming back again and doing further education here yeah, in the future? Yeah, exactly. that, that's actually on my to-do list coming back to Cyprus. So do you hope to maybe apply to some uh, TV stations back in Zimbabwe to be a journalist there? Or, I mean, do you, do you have any idea what you want to do when you go back to Zimbabwe work-wise? Yeah, I, I would definitely apply for job opportunities, you know, in every TV and radio station that is possible. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm not going to be selective. I'll just go wherever I find the job. Yeah, well, yeah sure. Excellent. That's the plan. Great, great. And what about you, uh, two people? I mean, when you finish your graduation, when you graduate here from your degree, do you want to do your further education here or another country? Or like uh, Adrian, do you want to go back first to Zimbabwe, get some work experience? What's your ambition after your graduation? Uh, it's like I want to do master's, uh -huh, but I'm not yet sure. Only fate will tell. I'm not yet sure where exactly I'm yeah. going to say that at home or anywhere else, or even in Cyprus. In Cyprus, yeah. yeah, yeah. You I, haven't decided I, yet? Yeah, I haven't decided that yet. But do you think that maybe, you know, photojournalism, you know, your, your photography, do you think you'll increase that mm -hmm. over the years? Do you want to develop that side of your uh, studies? Exactly. Your photography, yeah? yeah exactly. Ah, mm -hmm. very good. We, we might see some of your... Photography, video filming. Video yeah, filming, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have you made any video productions at, at university? Have you filmed, uh, have you used any of the cameras or anything there yet at university or...? At school, we have done press photography. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's more like, more of photographs, yeah. not vi video filming. Not videos, yeah. okay. Yeah. Maybe next year, maybe next semester. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's hopefully, good. Hopefully. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And so, again, uh, Adrian, would you advise anyone watching now uh, from abroad come here to North Cyprus and study? Would you say it's a good place to study North Cyprus? Yes, it is a very good, a very good place to study. So I would advise them to definitely come through and you know see for themselves. Yeah, sure, they should come to Cyprus. Excellent. Yeah. We well, are both very, very positive young gentlemen, yeah. very well mannered, very intelligent. And I want to say thank you for coming today to BRTK and uh, for sharing your story with us and for interviewing me. You did very well. Yeah. And I hope that, you know, your careers really do uh, take off when you go back to Zimbabwe. I hope that you'll, you'll be a great uh, photojournalist or, you know, a cameraman uh, making lots of great things. And I hope that you become a great uh, journalist and interviewer. Yeah. <laughs> 
sure you will be, Adrian. Yeah, thank you. And I wish you all the best. Good luck with your studies. Uh, thank, thank you very with much. With your exams. I know that you are in exam week as well at the moment. So yeah, we are. good luck with everything. And hopefully see you around soon, okay? No, we'll okay, definitely yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks right. for everything. Well, you're welcome. Yeah. And with that, we've come to the end of a couple of conversation with Tapiwa and Adrian from Nearest University, stu two students who are studying there, who are also interns here at BRTK. They're learning the ropes, and I hope that you enjoyed our conversation with them. And like Tapiwa said, it was two cups of conversation for the price of one <laughs> on today's programme. <laughs> and to it again in the studios of BRTK in Nefkosha, take care, go well, and bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.